lot of unprecedented trends in the field of energy like AI, AR, VR and uh, having uh, their own grid and even if you try the companies uh, who are in the energy field so they are tapping renewable energies to bridge the gap between the demand and supply so what do you think which are all the trends that are going to make big impact in future uh, I think there are several trends that are happening over the world I think technology has changed uh, over the last 20 years so rapidly especially in the last 10 so rapidly that we are able to do what everybody's calling IoT yeah. um, so all devices are connected uh, we are able to get data that we were previously not able to get uh, machines talking to machines smart factories we're talking about we're talking about big data the ability to take a, a lot of data mine for something specific and uh, get trends and so these are some of the things that have happened in the past that have really allowed uh, the energy space also to grow uh, with blockchain and other things that uh, are available in the transactions, a smart metering so you can control the demand side of things. Before you were not able to control the demand side of things because you didn't have smart metering. Yeah. Today if you look at Europe, uh, you have smart metering available in most uh, European countries. You also have a lot of industries um, practicing energy management uh, because yes, yes. Uh, you know that's another thing that they've uh, done you've got a lot of these bots doing a lot of uh, you know remote uh, functions uh, that usually required uh, a human there before um, uh, readings are taken automatically yes. from, from from distances with GPRS yeah, and communication exactly. yes and so I think the energy space is changing dramatically yes. uh, because um, I think um, it's even a way of communicating over PLC and uh, wireless, LoRa. If you look at all the different things that are happening, there's a lot of change happening uh, in the energy space. And I think um, the thing that I tell people is uh, the energy space is like a doctor-patient relationship. Uh, doctors are never going to run out of patients. And so there's a good business space to be in. It's a great analogy. <laughs> yes. And uh, the same thing is true with energy. Supply demand uh, is always going to be an area where we're going to find uh, disparity. And I think um, we'll be able to help bridge that gap yes. uh, by being smart and intelligent, using some of these technologies and trying to bridge the gaps and get electricity to places where it's not there, especially in third world countries where they're struggling for energy. And so it's going to be an interesting uh, next 10, 20 years, I think, uh, in the energy space.